let us discuss a question on current electricity which came in J May 2016. So here's the question. A galvanometer having a coil resistance of 100 ohm gives a full scale deflection when a current of 1 milliampere is passed through it. Find the value of the resistance which can convert the galvanometer into an ammeter giving a full scale deflection for a current of 10 ampere. So let us try to solve this problem. First of all, let us draw the setup which, ha which has been given in the question. So let us say this is the galvanometer and it has a coil resistance of 100 ohms inside it and a current of 1 milliampere is passed through it which gives the maximum deflection and let us assume that the voltage drop across the galvanometer is V. Now let us calculate this voltage drop V by the relation V equal to I R where I is the current through the galvanometer and R is the resistance of the coil of the galvanometer. So in full scale deflection the current given is 1 milliampere and the resistance of the galvanometer is 100 ohms. So this is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 into 100 that is equal to 0 0.1 volts. So this is the voltage drop across the galvanometer. Now we have to find out the value of the shunt resistance which can convert this galvanometer into an ammeter giving a full scale deflection for a current of 10 ampere. Now this galvanometer has a maximum capacity of 1 milliampere that is a maximum amount of 1 milliampere current can pass through this. So we have to add a shunt resistance across the galvanometer let us say this resistance is rs and this shunt resistance has a small value so that a majority of the current passes through this now in the second case it is given that a 10 ampere current is passing so if a 10 ampere current is passing the maximum amount of current that can pass through this galvanometer is 1 milliampere so what will happen to the rest of the current? It will pass through the shunt resistance. Let us say this current is Is. Now we have to find out the value of the shunt resistance. So first we will find out the value of this current which passes through this shunt resistance. So it can be found out by subtracting the amount of current which passes through the galvanometer from the total current that is 10 minus 0.001 ampere. So this will be equal to 9.999 ampere. Now to find out this shunt resistance we can use the relation Rs equal to Vs by Is where Vs is the voltage drop across the shunt resistance and Is is the current passing through this shunt resistance. Now this Vs is equal to the voltage drop across the galvanometer. So this we found out was 0.1 volts and Is as we found out was 9.999 ampere. So if we calculate this we will get approximately 0 0.01 ohm. So this is the value of the shunt resistance which can convert this galvanometer into an ammeter which gives a full scale reflection for a current of 10 ampere.